Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to another late night here in the East Coast. How y'all doing? Hopefully pretty good. Um... Okay, I see what happened here. My bad. Did the thing again. We're, uh... Start, I started it too soon. Uh, we'll go with this one. That's fine. Everything's gonna be okay. Nobody's panicking. Nobody's panicking. I mean, I'm panicking a little, but it's fine. Okay, now, now, now we panic, everybody. It'll be, it'll, it'll be fine. But yeah, how, how are y'all doing? Uh, we're getting ready for a little more legacy tonight. Which I was really enjoying yesterday. Uh, I won't be as uh, long. Sorry, I won't be on as long today as yesterday. Uh, unfortunate, sort of. Uh, just I work tomorrow, and um, well, I would love to. I'm super tired. Just haven't been sleeping. So, oh, there we go. That's better. Now you guys hear your beautiful DOS jank. Although you may have before, um, but I didn't. And my god, if I can't hear this glorious jank. Dun, 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 dun. So it seemed like yesterday I could maybe turn the sound effects up a tiny bit. Uh, for you guys. So I'll turn it up a little. We'll see. <laughs> do, 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 do. There's not a lot of music, as I'm sure you've noticed. The music that's in the game is amazing, but it's so few and far between the tracks. I, I'm not sure why that is. Sound effects are fine and all, but like I really want some ambiance, like oh, right there. As as I mentioned, this was made by the uh, the guys that made XCOM, and I'm a huge fan of XCOM. And XCOM's music is very. Chef Kiss. Thank you. This is my preferred layout. I really enjoy XCOM's music. Very haunting. Oh, shit. Okay. So, page 21, line 7, word 1. Nineteen twenty-one. Uh, line seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Dodging. Okay. Old password protection was always kind of fun. So we're on floor two, uh, where we left off yesterday. Uh, we had just died. <laughs> But, uh, we are going to get murdered by this thing. So, uh, fun fact about that. So, it's called a lurker. Um, according to the manual, they are meant to be basically unkillable and all-powerful. And you're like, oh, okay, cool. Um, so, the, the thing is, you're just, you're not supposed to fuck with them. Which, you know, like, how do I not fuck with it? Like, I don't know. I, I guess the the implication here is, is that you're supposed to um, uh, just, like, completely avoid combat with them. Which I thought we were doing. Okay, not, not ready for this. Oh, the door behind us is gone, right. I guess we could try and do this puzzle. So this is the... We're now outside the realms of the house. 
And I think what we're supposed to try and do is go through the doors in order. So we go through door one. Door two. Oh, fuck. Uh, I didn't know there was any... Um... It's bad. I didn't know there's any of these guys left alive. Um, and as I mentioned before, uh, interacting with your inventory in this game is very much a ball lake. There you go. I don't have any holy water on me because I thought we killed all the devils for some reason. We'll do our best in this fight. This is certainly not how I wanted to start this adventure. I wanted to go down to the basement. Well, not the basement, but I wanted to go down a floor and go looking for more clues. We do have our upgraded Agatha's Iron Fist. It's a pretty powerful boost to our melee combat, I think. It has felt very effective up until now. Thankfully, these enemies are completely shit in melee. Um, their spells they cast are very powerful. But anyway, yeah, so the Lurker, very, very powerful. Perfect. And uh, the game's basically like, yeah, um, just don't attack it and it won't bother you. But unfortunately, the reality is if you use an attack near it, it interprets that as an attack, even if you're fighting other enemies. Uh, which is kind of a problem. So I think that's what happened, is we were probably attacking somebody else. We've now triggered it. It's pissed off. Uh, yeah, this is this house is not of this world. Um, so it, it is now running around trying to murder us all the time. Eight, five... I was going to say, I thought that was four. This one, I don't know. There's no plaque there. I feel like I'm only supposed to go through the numbered ones. Also, yeah, I think the cats are going absolutely batshit. I feel bad for Kaylin. Five, perfect. Uh, no. Six, I think, was back this way. I want to say that was six. Well, that's one. This was two. Yeah, six is the one that looks like we're headed back to the, the proper room. Maybe that's over here. No, not that one. What's around this corner then? This one. Nice! So that was a puzzle. Pitharic figure. And sorry, like I said, it's so hard to grab objects in this game. You wouldn't think it would be, but like there's a massive delay. Granted, it's it's super old, so. What would you do if I told you you're not a lobster room, in fact, just a tank class crab? I love that. But we're now on the map. Well, there's now stuff here. Aura of Mystic Defense. Uh, that would help us a lot against this um, stupid Lurker. But yeah, so basically, like the Lurker is like a thing where it's like, oh, if you piss this off, uh, you're gonna die. It's like, okay, that's cool. But they're just like, yeah, just don't, don't piss it off. Don't use any attacks anywhere near. Whoa. Okay, so those doors teleport you. So that's how you're supposed to get around. Okay, we still can't go that way. Because um, this is the hallway where everything pulls you. Oh, no. We just... Oh, hang on. Okay, your controls are reversed in this area. That's interesting. 
So I assume that statue is trying to kill us. Normal lamp. The painting makes us feel uneasy. Someone or something died in this bed. I don't see anything else to interact with in the bedroom. Okay, so it's still like that, so... It's very interesting. This house is nasty. How many uh, bandages in here? Four. Okay, it's not quite worth healing yet. All right, okay, lock. Do we have a key? We do have a couple new keys. Nice. Okay, we're getting somewhere here anyway. Surveyor's Report, Winthrop House. 3rd October, 1922. Built in 1639, the property originally consisted of two floors and a basement. In 1665, a number of secret areas were supposedly added onto the basement. I've been unable to find these areas. The third museum and a fourth floors were added in 1727. 1730, a tunnel's also have said to have been built, connecting the secret ways to natural caves below the house. Again, I'm unable to verify this. 1780, a fifth floor was added. There's presently no access to this floor. Finally, in 1861, the third floor was converted into a private asylum. It's surprising how many period features are still evident throughout the property. So that's interesting. Um, what I love about a game like this Obviously, you guys know I love my dungeon crawling games. <gasps> ah! Finally got here. Door's locked. Do I have the key? No. A baseball bat. Okay, I assume the baseball bat is better than our poker. Oh, wow. It's even got, like, a different profile. Kind of neat. Now, we're not trained in clubs, by any means, however. I would like to go... Okay. okay. Uh, no. Yes, and perfect. Okay, so this, this whole, oh, we're going to get screwed if this guy comes after us. He's going the other way though, right? Yeah. Oh, fuck. He saw us. Get in. Didn't really want to get hit by a fireball there. But what I love about a game like this is this moment here where the game really opens up. Because we are allowed to go in any direction. In theory. Because the basement, it is open to us, and we've also gained access to the third floor. Now, we haven't quite finished the second floor. And there's a few more things I want to look into on the first floor. But I, um... <laughs> Unfortunately, they sound a bit contradictory, but I, I, <laughs> I love being able to, like, backtrack and go through these areas and look around and find stuff. That is something I quite enjoy. Oh, so do I have to do this properly now? We may have to do this properly. Again, to uh, get us back. But that's okay, that doesn't take long. I believe this is two. Because once again, we're, we're outside of the house. We're in another reality. There's actually a very cool um, Call of Cthulhu scenario based on that. Uh, I want to say it's called Lost Dues. Anyone's curious? Oh shit. It's probably in the right spot. Ah, oh, you fucker. That's one and two. Okay. Three 
times four is. Oh. This is four? Three. This is four. And five is, that's one. This is one? Interesting. That's two. Uh, is this five then? Three. Nope. That's five. Two. And I'm very... Oh, I see. Right, yeah, yeah. Because, of course, they'd have a front and a back. Yeah, okay. So that's the, that's the back of three. That makes sense. It's nice we have killed all the enemies, though. That's one and two. That's four. That's three. Uh, that's three as well. That's four, six. Okay, so this puts us back into the house. Now, this makes me wonder if that opened up... Holy shit. Galen's trying to give me a heart attack here. Uh, that makes me wonder, though, if uh, room 7... That's weird. Room 7 is now open. That's the one the guy was in. So I think we can map out the maze, but I feel like any door we take is just going to... Oh, hang on. I bet I know what we do. So I bet we do need room seven, but we probably have to get there without going through one of the numbered doors. Kind of neat. Yeah. And six, that's where we found the um, statue. So this one here takes me back out in the hallway. Room seven, if I recall, is up. Is this it here? Nice. Nice, we can talk to someone now. <laughs> what can I do for you? Make it quick, because I don't want to hang around this joint any longer than I have to. Oh, who are you? Just what's going on here? Which vile creature is your master? Are you okay? I've seen you creeping around here. What are you up to? Who are you? My name's D. Kirby. I'm a private investigator. Edwin Croxley hired me to look into the disappearance of the Pretis family. Though all the evidence points that the Prentice family being murdered, at least still haven't found any bodies. As for a killer and motive, you tell me. I don't know, have you turned anything up? Maybe no more than you're letting on. Who do you really work for? Forget me for the moment, are you alright? It wouldn't surprise me if you killed them the way you've been skulking around the house. <laughs> hmm. You see, I don't know, haven't you turned anything up? I let myself in here yesterday. Since then, I've been fighting for my life. This house is filled with, you know, things. Anyway, I was walking in the corridor when suddenly I found myself locked in here. How I got here is anybody's guess. Still, one thing I do know is that I better get out of here before I'm dead. Meat. What? Followed you in a trap? Whose orders are you following? Huh? Better make sure you're okay before you go anywhere. Yeah. I'm fine, just a little scared, I guess. 
Now we better get out of here before they come after us. They? Who are they? Your masters? Or, uh, we'll say... Sure, we'll go once you tell me why you've been avoiding me every time I've seen you. Enough already, I'm leaving. But if you're determined to see things through, you'll need my help, so listen. Weird triangular things mean safety. Holy water stops daemons dead in their tracks and banishes ghosts. I'll see you outside. Well, that's all information we already knew. It is, however, interesting that we got to meet another character. Um, I don't imagine there's multiple endings for saving... You know, like, all the characters or something. Okay, that was our, uh, third floor. Let's hope the lurker is gone. Run. Looks good so far. And this leads to... We're not sure. Okay, another bedroom with another statue. I don't think there's anything to do in... Oh, fuck. Say anything to do in any of these bedrooms, but you do get attacked by the statue if you try to interact with it. Um, I kind of don't remember finding the master bedroom. Oh, is this the oil can? Yeah, let's leave behind this. I'm gonna say the baseball bat's probably the better weapon for now. Oh. Comfortable looking bed, nothing hiding under it, eh? There's two doors down here. This door. This door. So it looks like we're gonna have to come back here at some point. I'm just not sure when. Something's gonna fucking kill me in a second. Oh god, it's coming this way. Uh, that's not great. Okay. Yep, it's coming. That thing, like, kills you if it hits you. Hmm. Let's toss a save on our game. So question is, okay, so we're gonna go back downstairs. We're gonna see if any of our new keys work on the safe down there. I, I feel like there may have been two safes. But, but for sure I remember where one is. After that though. Okay, there's my holy waters. Um, yeah, that's fine. If we see any zombies, we'll just beat the shit out of them. They're getting pretty powerful. We've seen a triangle door. We just can't get into it yet. Uh, we need a better key or something. I do really wish there was more music, though. I want to bop out. Oh, this room, I think, had the... Yes. Said the safe. Key for the wall safe is not on the key ring. Okay. Right, we want to put that gem in as well. Well, that's our juju fetish. More holy water. We have a new statue.
paint can. Uh, this is the Colt 10. So he uses 38 revolver ammo. But here, this is also 38 revolver ammo. Uh, it's revolver, revolver, revolver. So we'll stick with the regular revolver in the baseball bat. Doesn't give us a ton of room. Uh, we could leave the magic crystal and the med kit behind. It's a good chance we'll find them. We could just heal up with it, really. Kind of makes sense. We will meditate on this, too. So stats are pretty good. This is a good save point. Uh, there's another room here we can't enter. Aside from that. Doodly doodly do. Okay. So what are we thinking? Basement? Or are we thinking second floor or third floor? Oh let me let me pick this up, please. Get. Oh, that's funky. Okay. Where does this go? Also to the basement. Ooh, yeah, I'm not sure I love that idea. Um, I feel like there's another safe here. So I guess we'll just... Oh, another zombie. Doesn't even... I was going to say, he hasn't even turned around yet. We are not skilled with clubs at all. But, uh, we are good at magic and our magic is working for us. I know, I know it kind of sucks, like, going back through... I don't know why that guy laughed again. Or is continuously laughing. But I feel like... We should just do a, a once-over, just double-check, because I, I kind of remember a second... Oh, we're getting a shitload of experience for this. Okay. That doesn't look like... Hmm, okay, hang on. Two zombies I might be able to take, but nope. It's fine. Can I just swap them like this, or baseball bat? No. Oh, inventory management is such a pain in the butt in this game. Hello? Well, we ran out of ammo. Where you get shot in the back, Zambi. Okay, how many shots do we have? Two left. Okay. 
Put the old baseball back back in hand. Uh, there's one right here. It turns out there were a ton of zombies we never killed. Uh, and I'm kind of okay with it. Because we do need the experience. And we are chunking them down now. Let's check our inventory for our, uh, sorry, experience. So we can get strength up, um, which is going to give us more health, more max health. But it's also going to give us um, more club, which we are unfortunately using a lot of right now. We could also get a point of stamina, which would give us more magic points as well as health. Um... We can also level up our spells. I kind of feel like just because we are having the fight a little bit, maybe some strength is nice. Um, and we are going to be shooting for a little, so I think maybe scrub point and firearm and blade. We still haven't found a blade. But the plan is, we are going to mess someone up as soon as we do. Although, how you outdo a baseball bat, I'm not... Not sure, it's going to be tricky. Oh, there's a locked door here. We haven't been in. I have a key for it now. Yes! I was going to say, because we got a bunch of keys upstairs. Ah! The fuse box is damaged. Interesting. So I might be able to repair the fuse here and turn the power back onto this area. Should be good. Uh, part of the problem right now is we do have to take up a lot of our inventory room with this um, flashlight, which is amazing that we can just carry in the attache case. But I digress. Okay, there's another door up here that was locked. Let's go. Go the slow way around. I'm sure, we're not missing anything. It's weird. I swear, I remember a wall safe. Oh, here's a zombie. Nice. And every little bit of XP we can get. Oh, we just two shot them now. That is very good. Nice. Okay. New rooms available to us. What have we here? It's a weird little thing. A mechanical toolkit. Um, you assume we'd need like an electrical toolkit to repair the fuse? You would assume so, but maybe not. A lot of different ways down. I wonder if the basement, you're going to have to do a lot of weird stuff with uh, like going like up one stair and down another stair. And... Yeah, it's the wrong sort of repair fuel box. No, that makes sense. Fuse box, sorry. I don't know what we use the mechanical toolkit for then. Was there anywhere else... No. We 
We've now officially been everywhere. Clinical toolkit's gonna need. Okay. We have a museum plaque. Some shotgun shells. We still don't know what's going on with that. With the rune stone. Now, if we turn off our flashlight. Oh no, right, because we never actually fixed it. Uh, let's check our XP. Okay, didn't really get anything for that last zombie, I guess. That's fair enough. Do do do. There's no, I was going to say, yeah, there's no way we could just leave. Part of me is wondering if some of these are just like little, like, secrets. Like, it's just weird that there would be like dead space in a couple of these spots. Because we did find a secret wall already, you could actually just walk through it. But... Guess not. Rip me. Part of me says we head up to the asylum. is like we've been able to go to the basement this whole time and we've just um we got a bulletproof vest although I'm very curious what's just under the gem so maybe we would just go look under the gem, gem spot first Open, please. Thank you. All right. I think I just saved. Oh, I get so sketched out. Cream. Speech. Right down we go. Hey, we do have music down here. Okay. This is not what I was expecting. Decayed head. The head has been ripped from the body of a zombie. I seem to interact with it. Severed zombie arm. Disgusting limb is being sliced off from a zombie. Oh, do we try and build something here, maybe? Mind reels as you enter the portal. Uh-oh. Did you miss? Not much, Fox. <laughs> oh, 
What? Oh, the, yeah. I don't know if I'm supposed to be here yet. A person? Oh, yeah, he definitely tried to stab me. No? I don't feel like I should kill him. Uh, this is the Sephiroth. The symbol here. I don't know if I'm supposed to be in Egypt. The door is locked. I was gonna say, I can't imagine I have the key for it. I... You see the pressure plate. This door is also locked. Oh no, I just... I just tried that one. Part of me thinks I really should not have gone to Egypt. I'm a little scared. Oh, another wall safe. Hey, Yanks, how you doing? Read the piece of paper. The Working Notes of Nathan Prentice. Volume 2, June 1962. I, my acolytes of doom, have completed the rite of forbidding. We have left, left the mark of Eliphaz in many places within the temple. The mark is to death to all trespassers. While we acolytes, clad in the likeness of the mark, may pass safely, we alone know that the mark acts through the eyes. Power lies in its very aspect. Power lies through the eyes. I kind of feel like that guy is just like a cultist that's gone insane. What's this? A horned skull. An aura of magic emanates from this demonic horned skull. Okay, well, it sounds like that aura of magic is now mine. Oh, it's in here. A uh, magic crystal. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I'm also super tired. I probably won't be playing too, too long. Like, I don't know, like... 20 minutes, maybe? I already feel like I've been repeating myself a lot. Oh, no, I want the bulletproof vest, thank you. Okay, so all we did, really, was come here, steal a horn skull. We're getting the shit out. If there's any penalty for taking this because this is our mind reels i thought our magic would go down or something but it seems like we're fine <laughs> loading hopefully we don't insta die because we have the uh horned skull on us that'd be bad come on game you can load Oh, that's what happened. I accidentally moved backwards, I guess, and went down through the stairs again. Must have just had some movement queued up. Also, uh, Yanks. Right here is what happens when we turn off our flashlight. 
This is what the world looks like. And yeah, if we turn it on. Yep, all the lights are on now. Try the, this is the one that, right here. This is the part that we kept thinking was weird. Oh fuck, I didn't want to normalize my window. I wonder if there's something actually on the other, like... I was wondering if there's something on the other side of it. Oh. This. Security key. Oh, I thought it was going to be here. Hey, okay. Because, man, I, like, I was thinking there's got to be a key for the safe on this floor. Uh, now the question is that since we have the security key, do we go back into Egypt? Just check it. Oh, a video cassette falls out of... Uh, yeah, okay, we did find a VCR. Okay, neat. We'll have to check the VCR. Uh, we'll drop our horn skull off. I don't know what the fuck it does. Who knows? Uh, we also don't need our magic crystal. And when going upstairs, we technically don't need the flashlight either. Um, I think we'll check Egypt and check the security door. <sighs> I know it's a lot of load time doing that, but I think we do. And then we head back upstairs. We'll put the VCR, or sorry, the VHS in the VCR. And then... Floor three or basement? It's, I still, I don't know. I feel like because we have the bulletproof vest, the implication is we go basement. Because floor three is the asylum, which sounds kind of bad. Problem is the basement has three different entrances. It's like, you know that's going to be a fucky floor. And they also, so they've expanded the basement. I don't know. Seems to me like the basement leads like into hell, which might be not amazing for us. Whereas the upper floors are capped at some point. Let's try it. Nice. Okay, so all sec oh, the safe is empty. Weird. What the fuck? So we can open any secured door now. Neat. I also wonder if... Like, I don't think you kill that guy, right? Maybe, maybe we do. I did see him take a knife out, but I don't exactly know why he was doing that. What? Oh, fuck. Oh my god! So if you don't time the swings, you take damage. I didn't know that. What? Why is that a mechanic? I mean, like, I'm fine with that being a mechanic, but also, like, it's so funny I didn't hit it any of the other times we went through this damn thing. Also, it'd be kind of cool. You can play the game like this, actually. And there's way less lag. Maybe that's why we have so much lag, because I have this window so big. Maybe it'll be easier to mess with my inventory. Maybe it's my fault. My fault for making the resolution in the game too good. That would be freaking hilarious. Also, the, the whole window mechanic is just weird. Uh... Nah, it's still laggy. Less laggy. Yeah, when when the music plays, it's pretty cool. 
I don't know, okay, let's keep it about this big then. Okay. Uh, VHS is upstairs. Are you upstairs? No, you're downstairs, right? Upstairs is... That one? I think it's this one. Oh, the fuck? A zombie. I thought we got rid of all these guys. But we'll take the XP. I don't know if fighting one of those would kill us in the beginning. Honestly, I know we want to be Blade Master. Part of me feels like I put a point in club, though. We have been using a lot of this thing. And now that we have the baseball bat, it, it feels pretty strong, so... I don't know. Maybe we'll, we'll just save up. We'll be smart. We'll save it. Just keep holding out for a blade. <laughs> yeah. That's how we ended last session, Fox. I basically just went on a rampage and started killing all the zombies. Okay. This person's still walking around, possessed. Where was the room with the VHS? Fuck. Oh, it's a little... Little turd room. Is that it there? I think up here is a bathroom. I think this was a bathroom. Yes. This one is locked. Sorry, we don't have a key for her. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I want no part of that, thanks. Oh, here's the VHS room. Or the VCR room. Whichever. Oh. Can I turn this on? Video cassette. The words my brother and I are written on this battered VHS. Too far from the television and video player to use it. What? Oh my god! You can move in? We can't move left or right or anything else. That's... The first time we've been able to move in like that. Neat. Technically put Whoa. Fucking scary. Video message. <clears throat> Ellen has escaped. We've been caring for her since she tried to burn the house down in 67. Now she's free again. I I don't know what to do. She killed my wife, Catherine, and my mother, and now she's after me. Why don't you tell them the rest, dear brother? About your mother and her family, about the ring, and about the dark ones. Why not, Robert? Why? Oh, why? I want to go down and read more. Oh, that was the end. I thought she was going to be like, why don't you meet them in hell? And I'd be like, scary. Okay, that was cool. Hmm. I'm going to fucking die. It's going to happen. Okay. We're going to save, we're going to be brave, and we're going to go upstairs. I lied. I Fuck that. We're going to the basement. I'm just too spooked about fucking the asylum, because now we know there's an axe murderer running around in it. I feel like I'm, like, I don't know if this game has bosses, 
But like if it did, I feel like she would be a boss. You know what I mean? Whereas downstairs, we only got shot by Hitler, so. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Deal with that any day of the week. Also, I forgot to mention Yanks, but thank you, thank you. Very kind of you to uh, resub in these trying times. All right. Um, so basement at far end, I think, is the one we tried and we got immediately shot at. Yeah. Yeah, good night, dude. I'll, like I said, I'll probably be dozing off in the next, like, 10, 15. I can't imagine I'll be too much later. Sleep well. Good luck with work and all that in the morning. Okay, let's go down here. I forgot to save. Last time we went down, we got immediately shot. I'm praying I have one second to react. So I probably should have the gun out. I feel like I didn't level up my club. Because I was like, yeah, it's fine. We'll be the blade master with no blades. Okay. Save game. Oh, that looks bad. The fuck is it? What is this thing? And yeah, we are. I was gonna say we're pretty fucking powerful now. I don't exactly know what it is. Oh, this is a secret... Secret wall here. I'm sorry? Fuck are you, even? Need some more buff spells. Come on. Give us a ton of experience. I s yeah. A little nervous. Place seems very hostile, but at least we're not getting like immediately shot. Because <laughs> that was a that was kind of a problem before. I don't like these rooms at all. Is this an ancient hidebound book? The Book of Ancients by Anton Wis Wisniewski. Wisniewski, I don't know. April 1899. Sea demons are demanding more human stock to corrupt and make in the servitors. But they shall not give me their orders. Maybe that's what that was, a servitor. Burning incense made from the crushed Mogana leaf causes them distress. It is I who am the master of Winthrop House, not these abominations from Ocean Deep. Love it. Fun. We gotta get some incense we can burn. These... I I have to assume these runes are maybe for teleporting around, or... It says there's a door here. According to my map. Crystal, was it? Yeah. Well, we'll take one. They're certainly useful. I've been poisoned. Uh, that could be a fucking problem. How do we cure poison? Well, now we know we need to shoot these fuckers. Poison damages your system. Oh god, okay, that's further down. 
I'm still... How do I get... Uh, how do I get rid of poison? I guess we just die. Battle Crescent. There's a leaf motif engraved in this piece of circular metal. 44 res revolver. Okay, so we've got <laughs> a regular revolver. We've got a 38 and now a 44. Drilling of Dread prevents you from moving in that direction. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, the door's gone. Uh-oh, the poison's damaging our system. A clay jar containing the ashes of a deceased samurai. This poison's pissing me off. Is there truly no antidote? Oh god. A lot more ways down. Poison feels like it's getting more frequent. Although it could just be based on movement. Another magic crystal? Oh, I see. You go through doors and it closes behind you. I think we're gonna die here because the poison is just shit wrecking us. Getting quite good at combat, though. Yeah, if you could fuck off, poison. Okay, we need to try and make it back. Oh, another oil can. Weird. Guess we'll grab it while we're here, but this is very much a maze, yeah. Yeah, I see the painted door open, please. I think we're fucked because the door won't open. Oh, okay. It's invisibly open. Oh, uh, yeah, GG. <laughs> we had a good run. Yeah, got poisoned. I don't know how we cure poison. Unfortunately, if we don't have an answer for poison... And the basement is clearly some kind of hellscape. Um, like it's a it's a crazy maze. I feel like we need to stock up before we go down. Oh yeah, we're stuck. Okay, we need to try and get back. Do you not see us? Hey, we'll take an easy one if we can take one. We're not above that. Cartridge jams in the breach, really? Wow, I didn't know guns could jam. Unjam. Oh my god. We'll need tools to fix it. Really? We're doing that game. I can't believe that. I can't believe the game would have... Oh, fuck. We got poison. I feel like we just load there. I don't know how we deal with poison. It's gotta be... Mentioned an herb. So maybe that? Like, we have to make an antidote? Either way, we should definitely be full health before we come down here for that reason. Um, I don't know, actually.
I wonder if it jams after so, so many shots. Like, will it jam here? No, it didn't. The jams are random. That is a huge pain in the ass. So we are not doing much damage. Remember, we're trying to go down. Nothing. Okay, it looks like everything feeds in here. Okay, yeah, we read that one. Oh, uh, looks like we're doing the same run. Let's hope we don't die doing it. Come on. There we go. It didn't get poisoned yet. <sighs> I think we're going to have to just keep saving and praying. <laughs> we might be able to do this. Unfortunately, we did not take the 38 revolver, so... Oh, it's fully lit in the basement. It's not bad. Let's go for the ammo. Which granted doesn't help us right now, but something. There's two is very annoying. Three. Yeah. I'm hoping the two are keeping the one back. As long as we don't get poisoned. It's our big fear. They're wheedling us away though. Slowly but surely. Definitely should have put points in clubs. I kept going, no, maybe I'll get a freaking sword. Yeah, maybe. We are... Oh yeah, we, we did hit him. <sighs> okay. We do have some ammo, but again, pretty much all this ammo we're carrying is for different revolvers. Um, which all graphically look the same, just to save on space. Yeah, I get it, but like, also, fuck off. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, Malay? Oh, this lets us go back. Oh, okay. It's weird. Well, I guess it's not weird, but. Feeling a dread in here that doesn't let me move properly. There's another... Like, this chair is weird, right? I don't know. This me a chair is weird as shit. Oh, 
Come on. Don't you fucking dare poison us. Not here. Not now, you son of a bitch. I think I bugged him out by shooting him there. I don't really know if the shot's registered, but... I do think it bugged him out. Which is good. I'm getting very fucking nervous, so... This game is just mean. Uh, but I, I like that. There's actually, so, so now that I've been thinking, there's a couple dungeon crawls that I've always meant to get to. Uh, and playing this one, which was on my list, it's really making me just want to uh, like dig into dungeon crawlers again. Problem is, they're all time commitments. Um, which, oh, fuck. Please tell me I'm missing a path. Yeah, okay, that one. Because I don't want to go further down. Pretty much not something I want to do. I would love for this to get, like, I don't know. It sounds kind of silly saying it, but like an HD remake kind of thing. Um... Just so it has editable maps. Because, don't get me wrong, uh, I like being old school and drawing maps myself. But when a game has a map in the game, I don't feel the need to. Oh, we are fucked here. Yeah. I know, Fox, I know. I think I just saved. So what I might do is we might go up to them and just start dropping our fire spell on mass. I hope that works. The alternative is we like just start unloading with the gun. the gun the gun seem okay and it's not like we're trying to use up this ammo per se but this won't be the fire gun that we carry much further because we're already pretty much out of its ammo it's got shit ammo what if we can just cheek them and maybe they'll uh will pass through i assume they wait for me to spawn or to start moving or something oh my iron fist ran out. That's a problem. Uh. Okay. What was... What were our other spells again? Oh yeah, mystic defense. Shroud of the Dark Walker. Bodies displaced by shadows to appear where it's not. Maybe just enemies are less likely to hit me? That seems kind of good. Put the book back. I think I think what we do, just because, man, we're struggling, we're going to throw that point in club. I think that's a pro strat. Yeah. yeah. Let's save. This is where it gets ugly. <laughs> we have to kill at least two enemies to get through here. And we still don't know if we can get a path back to where we came in, to the basement. We actually haven't seen the other path to the basement either. Interesting. Oh, it wasn't this room. <laughs> Never mind. I lied to y'all. It's this room here. Oh. The crystal. Oh, maybe I am going to be able to shoot this fucker. Hang on. If we can cheese one of them, we're going to cheese one of them. I'm telling you right now. 
the spell book back in the spell book spot. Come on. Come on. Come out, right? Yeah. Oh. So obviously the four shots we have left are not going to do anything. Get our bat and get ready to rumble. I'm really hoping this other aura makes it less likely for them that hit me. Oh, fuck, we got poisoned. That's probably GG right there. Now, there's a possibility this game poison doesn't kill you, it just takes you to 1 HP or something. I don't know. That's not it. Gotta be... That goes down. Not happening. Oh, there's the oil can. I don't know what we'd need two oil cans for, my new but... That door is weird, like it doesn't even register. Oh man, yeah, I don't. I don't know how you get back. Because these all take you down. Not something I'm really wanting to do. Although, interestingly, the um, poison hasn't ticked on us yet. It only, maybe it only ticks when you're in combat for some reason. Oh, shit. Okay, there it is. Oh, God. I'm sure it's worth taking that because I think we're going to die let's jump down one of these anyway so we might have fucked up going basement might, uh, might be very bad Do, do, do. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. I don't know what that was, and I don't want to know. Although, it did look like we were headed down into the uh, Egypt. And... Still poisoned. Good to know. Please, video games. I need this bed. Yeah, no, the poison can kill you. Shit. Uh, I kind of feel like maybe we call it here then. I know, kind of, kind of a shitty spot to leave it, but there's a, we're kind of stuck now in the basement, which is not amazing. And we're gonna have to fight our way out, and it's gonna be, I think, kind of nasty. Um, 
it's get it's getting kind of late on my end anyway, so it kind of makes sense for me to come back at it. Fully awake, because I'm gonna have to cheese and cheese and cheese. But either way, take it easy, folks. Y'all have a nice night, and I will see you tomorrow.